Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com My name's Jason Newland This is Relaxation Hypnosis for Stress, Anxiety and Panic Attacks Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes And what I'm going to do for this is, it's going to be a rehearsal, a rehearsal. So I was talking to a friend earlier who had a panic attack yesterday and got me thinking that you know in life if it's let's say it's a sport we rehearse we practice people that play basketball practice shooting the hoops people that um play video games they keep practicing so they get better and better uh, people play piano, you know, the list is endless. So the, let's say, for example, the, the pianist, when they get on stage, they can just do it automatically without having to think about it. The basketball player gets the ball and throws it at the net and gets it in the net using a mixture of you know the rehearsal uh, positive attitude and muscle memory and skill obviously that's gained from the practice but also that belief there's that belief this important and you may be thinking where are you going with this I don't play basketball or play the piano on stage well it's not about basketball or piano playing it's about rehearsing uh, something for example when the anxiety gets if the anxiety gets too high and you feel like you're about to go into a panic mode, a panic attack. This is rehearsing a maneuvering and escaping and moving away from that situation, that feeling, moving away from the feeling. And lots and lots of different things that we do have an escape route that we know. We know what to do in the event of an emergency. So we go back to sports a little bit. Let's talk about water sports. So the thing, if you get into a, a, a little yacht, a little boat, providing you with someone professional, the first thing you do is you put the life jacket on before you leave the shore. You make sure you've perhaps got a rubber dinghy in case of needing, you know, in case of the, the, the boat sinking or whatever. The person that is in charge of the boat makes sure especially if they've got tourists with them or passengers, to make sure they've got the equipment they need, radio equipment, flares. They make sure they know first aid. They make sure they know how to get the, you know, the boat started again if it breaks down. All those kinds of things that are just part of the process. So if something awful happened, the worst happened, 
that person would be prepared to deal with it. And the passengers may not need to know all the other stuff, but they'll be prepared because they'll have the life jackets on. Someone who jumps out of a plane. Parachuting. The first thing they get taught is how to land. So they'll jump off a box or they'll jump off a, a you know a, a higher bit of ground. First of all, they'll they'll land by just falling onto the floor, and then they'll finally get something to jump off of, so that they can land safely before they even get into the plane, before they even get to see a parachute. I used to be in the Sea Cadets and uh, I remember doing canoeing and I'm not really a swimmer <laughs> which is a weird a weird thing to do if you're not a swimmer uh, I don't suggest doing any kinds of water sports unless you can swim it should be the standard thing but uh, I was around I was surrounded by a lot of people Include the adults that were looking out, you know, for my safety. But the first thing I had to do was to learn how to escape from the canoe. So, the last thing I wanted to do was capsize. But that's the first thing I was forced to do, was to capsize. To force my well, in fact, I refused, and they they turned me over. They turned the so that I had to escape. The first thing you do is you learn how to get yourself back above water again, using the paddles or whatever they are. But in a worst case scenario, you have to learn how to escape from the canoe underwater when I went snowboarding have to learn how to fall over you can have a sore bum you have to learn and you have to keep falling over and the instructor spent probably the first two hours having us just fall over on our bums to get us used to it So where am I going with this? Well, where I'm going with this is in the event of... You're, you're listening to this recording possibly because of issues with stress and maybe panic, maybe panic attacks. So to have the same kind of technique built in an escape technique using muscle memory brain memory behavioral memory just automatically doing what you rehearse in your mind so when you rehearse you're not rehearsing having a panic attack you're not rehearsing uh, having high anxiety or stress because that would be horrible. Why would you want to rehearse that? What you can rehearse is feeling really relaxed really quickly. Feeling really relaxed really quickly. Just by taking a deep breath in and letting it out slowly, saying to yourself, I'm okay, I am okay, I'm okay, I'm relaxed. I'm okay. I'm okay. Now, 
this is something that you and I can practice. It's something you can do right now. Just taking a deep breath in, either through your mouth or your nose, it's up to you. And then you know you haven't got to hold your breath or anything, you just let it release. Again, either through your mouth or your nose, it doesn't matter. Let it release slower than when you inhaled. Noticing your arms, your legs, your stomach, your chest, your back and your face, your neck, your arms, your feet, all the different parts of your body relaxing. Notice how that feels. And you're going to say, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. And that's all that this is. It's just rehearsing it's something that you can do which will automatically relax you yet it also can build up that muscle memory that behavioral memory that emotional memory of feeling relaxed naturally I'm okay I'm okay I'm okay. This is something that you can practice throughout the day. Every now and then. You don't have to just sit here for an hour doing it. You can if you choose because you feel incredibly relaxed. It's about rehearsing the words rehearsing it's about rehearsing the words rehearsing the actions and rehearsing the feelings connected to those actions and those words I'm okay and to believe really believe that you are okay You are okay. Feeling that sense of relaxation spreading throughout your body, calming your mind. I'm okay. Saying those words to yourself, knowing that it's true, knowing that it's really true. And the more often you practice this sense of feeling okay. Okay. 
so that when or if an incident arises where you are feeling those feelings I'm okay I'm okay and then when you need perhaps in the future to have these feelings physically and emotionally positive feelings they will automatically step out automatically be there almost like stepping out of the shadows you realize that this ability to relax yourself just by breathing in And breathing out slowly, saying to yourself, I'm okay. I'm okay. It almost feels like, it's kind of like having a guardian angel with you. Always there, ready. You know, the idea is it's basically in your shadow, because with you, wherever you go, available wherever you are whatever you're doing and you can build upon this one deep breath in and another breath out saying I'm okay I'm okay and truly believe it because it's true you are going to be okay truly believe it just in the same way as you know that when you go to bed tonight Tomorrow the sun will be shining. You may not see it shining. It may be a cloudy and dull day. But above the clouds the sun is shining. Otherwise we'd have no light. Just by rehearsing. Saying to yourself, I'm okay. I'm okay. Taking that deep breath in. And letting it out slowly, saying to yourself, I'm okay. I'm okay.
really know, really, truly believe that it's going to be okay and that you are okay. Truly believe Truly believe in yourself And your abilities To let go And to relax deeply Okay. And as you practice this over and over again, maybe certain times of the day you can practice this. Okay. 